Alright, so about a month ago there was a big update for Super Auto Pets where they nerfed ducks. It originally gave a plus one plus one when you sold it, and now it only gives plus one health. So ducks went from being one of the best units in the game to now one of the worst units in the game. If you want to win an arena, I'd recommend pretty much never taking ducks. This strat does not work, but it means, you know what, I'm going to try it anyway. So you can see we actually got a pretty decent start. We got four ducks, which is probably above average. Typically you only get like three if you're going for uh, two turns with the duck strats. And I really don't recommend going for the strat where you like go ducks until turn five. I don't think that's a good idea either. And here, pretty much the only benefit of the duck is to just get an early tier three. And I'm really just hoping for something that's helpful. Mostly that's just badger, ox, or like maybe a dog. I don't know. Dog strats are still, I think they're up for debate whether they're actually okay or not. Here you can see I got a very strange shop. I got two peacocks, a dirty rat, and a badger. And I did not think that this would end up being a decent run, but you know what? I probably just spoiled it. It ends up being a pretty good run. I have no idea how, since Peacock's probably one of the worst units of the game. Same with uh, Dirty Rat and Ducks, so I just use a bunch of F tier units and still somehow win an arena. But, of course, arena wins not like super hard. You can get a lot of uh, bad strats to work in an arena, which is probably why a lot of people have kind of misguided thoughts about what's actually good in the game. It's not until you play like good players in verses, then you kind of realize like, wow, okay, the strat I was going for maybe is terrible. But you can see here that for some reason it's actually going to work out. Like ducks give HP, obviously, so like uh, the previous strat of going for dodo chains doesn't really work because uh, you need attack for dodos. So when you have a lot of HP, you can go for crabs, which uh, kind of works. You can go cupcake crab if you want. I don't think I even did it in this run, but... Bone attack, also very good. We have one eights that becomes six eights with bone attack. That's just a huge difference. And also the peacock actually, like, its ability is actually helping out, which is really surprising. You don't really see this too often. But uh, you can see I pill a flamingo. I'm going to keep the badger around for a while, I think. That's pretty much my only good unit. Like, the dirty rat's going to get sold. I, met, I thought I was going to sell the peacock, but I kept it around for quite a while. And uh, always free snails, pretty much. Unless if you know you're going to win. But how do you know you're going to win? Sometimes you just run into absolutely god-tier teams in Arena. I feel like that's kind of the biggest difference. Well, that's the biggest factor in winning and losing in Arena is just the teams you go up against. You can obviously go against a team that like perfectly counters yours. Or you can just go against a team that got super lucky and got like, you know, all the perfect units. Or maybe got a bunch of snails. It's kind of insane how big of a snail, like how big snails can make of a difference. If you get three snails frozen, you lose. Suddenly you're getting plus eight, plus four for your entire team. And if you have Dota Rooster, that feels like it's just game winning. I kind of went over this in the 1v1 tier list that I made, but that's kind of the thing with 1v1s is that they're so short that snail strats, like the temporary, well, it's not temporary, but the buffs just make such a huge difference that there's no time to come back from the snail strats. Like the scaling in the late game for like dragon and everything. It doesn't matter because the games never go that long. But you can see here, I'm just going with uh, snail strats. I'm just freezing these snails until I lose pretty much. And I'm trying to take things that are actually helpful, that have good abilities. So that when I do buff them with the snails, you have good abilities and good stats. And that's kind of the idea. So, yeah, there's uh, not too much else to say. I just... I got maybe a little lucky with the matchmaking. The Peacock at the front with just like half decent stats pretty much carried the team. Badger B in the back, always a solid strategy. I don't like keeping Kangaroo for too long in Arena. Its ability falls off pretty quickly. I see like quite a few people end up going for like Tiger Kangaroo. It just, it's not a good strat in the late game. When things have really high stats, abilities that like give plus two, plus two, just they don't matter much. Even if you have a Tiger Kangaroo and it's like, giving plus six plus six is still not going to matter much because it's probably only going to go off once and that's just not a huge difference. Here you can see it's turn eight and I decided to take an ox which is a tier three. Normally you don't want to do this. You want to take like things that are on the current tier because usually they're just better but here parrot ox is just such a strong strategy because you get melon armor and it's a 10-4 with the can so you know like it's worth it I think. I think I made the right decision here. Here I was thinking about whether to take that skunk, but I figured I didn't really want to sell anything in my team. But then I immediately roll into a monkey, and you gotta take monkeys, on turn 9 at least. Like, it's just the only form of scaling that I have, and you can just win with monkey scaling. It's good enough. 
I thought about freezing the cow there, decided not to. I don't really know what I would have sold. If anything, I could maybe sell the Badger B, which is crazy. But, like, the snail buffs on the ox and the parrot are kind of... They're really, like, they synergize really well. Because Melon Armor, it mostly prevents you from taking any damage. You can see I lose here, so I finally get to use the snails. So, really, what you want, like, your units with Melon Armor to have is just really high attack and low health. And as long as they don't, like, get sniped, it works out really well. Uh, if you have, like, a lot of HP, typically you would rather have, like, Garlic Armor. Like, if you have a Seal Rabbit build and you have a bunch of HP, you either want, like... Well, you probably want steak, honestly, like, at that point in the game, but you know what I mean. Like, it's better to just have high attack melon armored units rather than high health. Pretty obvious stuff, probably. Just perfectly trade there. I really didn't expect to go, like, super late game and actually have a chance, because all I have is a monkey. And, like, you can run into dragons at this point. If you get an early dragon, you can have, like, a level 2 dragon by turn 11, and then people are getting, like, you know, plus... 8 plus 8 for their entire team a turn and so it quickly like goes out of control if you just happen to run into someone who has a dragon build it doesn't happen too often in arena but it has killed like plenty of runs for me it's just like if you run into a dragon build twice in a row even if you have a good team you kind of just lose i don't know if that's happened to me but there's always that possibility you can see there the splash attack actually really destroyed my team because i haven't like pill anything in front of the ox or you can't like pill stuff in front of the parrot, but there's no actual melon armor until the thing in front of them dies. And I decide to go for a fly. It gives an extra trigger off of the ox ability. Not that it really matters too much, but it also it gets rid of any melon armor if they have that. And like once you get to level two fly, the 1010 stats can often just like kill things too. So fly, one of the best units in the game. And it's a great pick just for like any point in the game really. There, I actually messed up. I should have put the fly in the back. Typically, I put, you can see I switch around there, but if you don't have a one-up or like melon armor on the fly, then I usually recommend putting it in the fourth position because it only gets three effects. It only spawns three flies. So it doesn't actually matter if it's in the back because the fourth unit won't spawn a fly. And in case they have a crocodile, you don't want your fly to get sniped. So that's usually the reasoning behind that. But once you get that one-up, just put it in the back unless it has higher stats than the last unit. Usually you just want weakest unit in the back because like you're less likely to trade then. Anyway, so I'm actually I'm shocked I even kept like this parrot ox so long. The only thing that buffed them was that can and snail buffs. So they really don't have a lot of attack. Like for at this point in the game, like having a nine or eleven seven ox with melon armor is just not super good anymore. So that's why I decided to sell it and go with the skunk. The skunk's gonna have a pretty useful ability, especially if you can get it to level two and you have like a 50-50 with melon armor. Once you get a skunk to level two, you can one-shot the 50-50 with melon armor once it gets skunked, and that can be a huge difference because then you get another attack on your really strong unit, or with your really strong unit. And the Paris skunk, I mean, that's pretty much the same thing as level two, uh, although if there's like two units with similar health, it will activate the ability, like level one skunk, both of them instead of the level 2 skunk which would just do it on the strongest and then for the final battle I just put the peacock in front just in case and even though I have like level 1 and half skunks I don't think it really mattered and luckily I went up against like a fairly weak team and I actually managed to win with duck strats I can't believe it but it wasn't the duck strats that won me this game it was mostly the middle game where I got some snails I got Parrot Ox, I got like Fly in the end, and I got Monkey. Like the Monkey definitely carried the team towards the end. And now I decided to just look at like the replays. I can show you how many failed attempts. Like there's a lot more failed attempts than just this. There was two in a row beforehand, and there's also like quite a few before this that aren't on the screen. But Duck Strats are a terrible strat to go for in the beginning. I would not recommend them. But anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.